Hello students and friends. Welcome to the thrust of curiosity. In this video, we are going to see how to check the answer key of gate 2024 and how to evaluate the score. I will try to answer some technical questions and queries. So please watch till the end. And if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you will get the notification when I will upload the next video. Let's go to the official website of Gate 2024. First of all, we will download the question papers and answer keys. On this tab, Get Papers, you will see at the bottom we have Get Question Papers and Answer Keys. So I will click on this and I will scroll down. Uh, you will see there are various papers are here. Now as per your subject, you can choose the paper and answer key. So I am downloading the physics paper and the physics answer key. So now I have this question paper and this is the answer key. So now what we have to do is we have to check question by question. Now these are not in the sequence as you have your response sheet. I hope you have downloaded your response sheet. I have also made a separate video on how to download the response sheet. You can get it on the i button or if you visit my channel which is Thrust of Curiosity. This is my channel. So if you go on this, I have made a separate playlist for Gate 2024 in English as well as in Marathi so you can go through this I have also made videos for net guidance but I'm not much focusing on that I'm currently focusing on gate examinations but I will also make some videos on net in future so now we have the question paper and the answer key so in the answer key what you can see here is this is the key for our question number and how much mark it will carry so we know out of first 10 questions five questions will have one mark and five questions will have two marks now if you see your response sheet i have downloaded this is the response sheet of my student so i have downloaded this if, if you have not downloaded yet let's try to see how to download that so go to the get official page go to home and on home if you scroll down you can see here there is a login option so if you click on login you will open this page so I have already substituted the values and I'll just click on login so after login you can see here there is view response so if I view response I will click on your response and this will get open so this is the response you have responded so this means when the exam was going on you got the questions in this sequence but if you see this is the first question in the uh, response of my student and if you see the question paper the first question is different so you can see that the question were in different order during the exam and this is the uh, different kind of sequence is there so you need to check for each and every question okay if this is the question first then what is the answer for this you have to check in this answer key and then you have to check in your response sheet where is that particular question so I'm going to check so this is my uh, response sheet so I'm going to check where is that question so I will let's let me check again what is the first question so if arrow denotes this okay so this is the first question so let's check where it is yeah this is the 10th question so the student has answered option a and let's check what is the key here for the first question mm, here okay so the answer is a but this a and the a in this question is not same so you can see the order of options is also changed so you can see 
this option A is correct means repro is the correct answer. So you have to check whether you have given this option or not. So you have you have to answer C if this kind of question or if this kind of options are in this order. Okay, so this answer is incorrect. Here you can see if the MCQ is there. Okay, so why it is important if the MCQ is there, there will be negative marking if the answer is wrong. Okay, but if that is MSQ. Okay, so from question number 30, you can see MSQ and NAD type of questions are here. Okay, so for MSQ and NAD type of question, there is no negative marking. So you need to check when if the option is wrong, then your one third mark will be reduced from the uh, total marks you are getting. Okay. So, but for this NAT and MSQ type of question, there is no negative marking. Okay. So this way you can evaluate the marks. So now you can see here uh, for two questions, they have mentioned MTA. So this means even if you have attempted, you will get some mark. Okay. Because there is some technical problem in the question itself. So you will get the four marks because of the seventh and tenth question. You will only get the marks if you have attempted the questions. Okay. Now you can see here for any type of questions, you have some ranges. Okay. So for example, see you, you can see 32 number of question here. You can see range is one to one. So your answer must be equal to one. Other than that will be considered as incorrect. But you can see in num question number 33, here you can see there is a range 195.10 to 195.30. So in between this, if your answer is there, then it will be considered as a correct answer. Okay. So here, for example, for 34 and 35 questions, you can see answer is fixed 4, 2 like this. Suppose if you see that the answer they have provided is incorrect and you have a definite logical solution to that, then you can claim that your answer is correct. You can challenge their answer key by logging in. And here you can see contest answer key. So here when you go, you will see some guidelines. So for each questions, you have to pay 500 rupees. And whenever you, okay, here you have to select the question number, okay. So for example, physics session, okay, because you have uh, only this one and then question number. So here you can see the question number and now you can see this question number is not from your response sheet. This is from the question paper. Just we have seen the official question paper. You can still download from the official website and all the links I will provide in the description box so you can watch them later you can visit them later and here you have to justify why the answer from their answer key is wrong and you can also upload here the supporting document if you have some calculation there then you can upload this pdf file up to 10 mb and then you just click on add and then you will get some notification how to pay and all these things you will get there so uh, please read the guidelines carefully before attempting any uh, challenge for any single question. And for a single question you have to pay 500. So at a time you can only attempt for a single question. You can challenge this answer key before 25th February 2024. Okay. So after that this uh, challenge option, contest option will be closed. So as you can see, there will be some students who will uh, challenge the answer key and therefore this answer key is provisional. They have already mentioned that on the official website, these answer keys are subject to change. Okay. So as if there are some challenges and they come to be true, then there can be some changes, but there is very less chance that the answers will change only two or three maximum answers can be changed. So overall you can count your score and I recommend you to note it down so that it will be easier to count. Okay. Please like this video and share with your friends so that they will get benefited out of it.
After watching this complete video, if you still have some doubts, you can comment me. I will try to answer there or I will make a separate video if the question is longer. If the answer is longer. Thank you for watching.